In this video, I'm going to be going over how to do drawings 5 and 6 in your setting up AutoCAD document. So let's head over to uh, our AutoCAD document. But before, uh, as we look at this shape, we have a 2.5 inch uh, square by 2.5 inches. And the thickness of that is 0.25 inches. So uh, let's find a, a good spot to draw. We'll go right here. We'll say that our shape is 2.5 by 2.5. We have a square. Um, I'm going to grab my offset tool. and It's going to say specify the distance. I'll say 0.25. I'm going to click on my shape. You can either go out or you can go in. We're going to go in. We're going to take our shape that we just drew. Let's copy it. Um, I guess we can just do it from the base point. It doesn't really matter. We now have our same exact square, okay? Um, we can now grab this shape. Uh, we could rotate it. We could grab the center point, and we could say by 45 degrees, now it's straight up and down. Um, if we look back at our document here, um, we can see how it's, it's perfectly in the center. We can just move it by the center point. So we can say, uh, that we want to move this shape. And we can say, yeah, we'll, we'll move it from the center point and we can put it on the center point. So now we have these both overlapping. Um, again, when you're, when you're looking at this dock, if you look at like this top kind of uh, 45 degree turned triangle, it overlaps here. So we need to keep these side diagonal lines. So we're going to be doing a lot of trimming here. So if we go to our trim, we need to keep these side diagonal lines. So we need to cut the flat ones. Okay. If we're cutting the flat ones here, we're, we're most likely going to be cutting the diagonal ones here. Okay. So that we can see how those uh, look there. They should be uh, opposite. So uh, we're onto these ones now. So we need to keep the diagonals and then we need to keep the straight lines. Okay, so we need to keep the diagonals. So we'll cut the straight up and downs. Since we uh, cut the straight up and down lines, we can uh, cut the uh, horizontal lines right here. Okay, so we'll, we got just a couple more. So keep the diagonal lines. So we're going to cut horizontal and then cut the, uh, the diagonals here. So we'll go this one right here. Cut these ones right here, cut the horizontal, and we need to cut the vertical, okay? Ooh, no, I think I flipped that one. I need to cut these ones. There we go. And then this one right here, let's back at this one. So this, the 45 degree square is on top. To make the 45 degree square on top, we cut those. We want to cut these, okay? So that is number five. Again, it just it might play with your 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 head a little bit, figuring out which ones to trim, okay? Um, especially with this next one right here. I think this one can just be a little confusing because there's a lot going on, all right? So let's just start off by, let's look at the math here. We have uh, the, each one of these strips is three inches uh, by 0.25 inches. So let's just draw one of the strips. So I'll draw one of the strips. We said it's three inches by 0.25. We got a strip. Um, I can draw another one and I'll just kind of go 0.25 by three. All right. So we have one vertical. We got one horizontal. All right. As you're looking at this, it's like, well, it doesn't really say um, what the distance of like all these little kind of squares are right here. So if we kind of add this up, we have, well, we know that each one of these is 0.25 inches. So if we say 0 0.25, 0 0.25, 0 0.25, 0 0.25, that's one, 0 0.25, 0 0.25. That is 1.75 inches in just these strips right here. Well, we know that the, the strips are three inches. So three inches minus 1.75 is 1.25. So we have 1.25 inches remaining for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight open areas. 
So 1.25 divided by 8 is 0.15625. So that means that each one of these little boxes is 0.15625. So if we go back, um, the it looks like we have this corner. So we can grab our shape right here. Um, let me move this one. Okay, and we need to move it somewhere in here, but we don't know where yet. Okay, I'm going to move this just to right here, and I'm going to move this one as well, just to kind of make room for some things. Okay, so what we need to do is I'm just going to kind of grab a line tool right here. And if I go down, I'm not clicking, I can type 0.15625. Okay, and now I'm just kind of moving my line out here and it says 0.15625, enter, okay? So I, all I've essentially done right here is just make a little line, okay? Um, I could just grab a point if I don't wanna do like a line, like I could just grab my point tool and I could say like make a point right there and I could just delete this line now if you don't wanna have lines. Like if you're doing laser cutting or things like that, we can delete that and we still have our point. Okay, so what we could then do is, yeah, we could just move this shape, okay, onto this point, and it will lock onto that point. So now they're in the right spot, okay. Um, the next thing that we could do is we could uh, grab our rectangular array. I'm going to grab my object here. Um, and so right now, I'm going to kind of just drag this down this way. Um, and so right now it says how many columns versus how many rows. Well, we only want one. Uh, I guess these are uh, flipped. Um, I guess we only want one column, but we're going to want seven rows. Uh, we want seven because we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven going down, seven going across. Um, so we'll say seven, but we have a distance now in between them. It's negative because we're going down, Okay. Well, we know that the thickness of these shapes is 0.25, and we know that the distance in between them is 0 0.15625. So if we add that together, 0 0.15625 plus 0.25, we get 0 0.40625. So the distance now is negative 0 0.40625. Okay. There we go. So we'll say close the array. We can now grab our uh, rectangular array again. We'll say, yeah, we want to do this one. That looks good. We can say, well, how many columns do we want? Let's see, this one should be seven unless it's flipped again. Nope, we're good there. We'll say we'll, we only want one row. And we are going to set the distance between again to that 0 0.40625. Okay, and we're going to lock that in. Okay, this is kind of now the time consuming part, right? So if we look at our drawing, okay, we have uh, like the, the vertical line, this vertical square over the top. So it's like we need to trim the vertical lines, then the horizontal lines, the vertical lines, then the horizontal lines, the vert all the way down. So we're going to start with the vertical lines. So before we start trimming this, since it is a pattern, like if I try and trim this right now, it's not going to let me. So if you if I do that, it's like, oh, you, you can't trim. We need to, since this is a pattern, we're going to highlight it all, and we're going to type explode. And explode should pop up. Now each one of these is its, is its own shape. We can grab our trim tool, and we said, yeah, we need to trim the vertical line. Then we need to trim the horizontal, the vertical horizontal, and we're going to do this all the way down. So again, this part can just be a little time consuming here. Um, and then when you get to this step, you're just flip flopping now. So we started with vertical. Now we're going horizontal, vertical, horizontal, vertical. And again, you just can kind of do this action all the way down. And you can see, yeah, it's, it's really starting to show up. So we started with horizontal here. Now we're going to vertical, horizontal, and I think, it's, I think it's easier to do it this way. Again, you just kind of get into a little rhythm, okay? Um, again, it, it, you, there's a hundred different ways to do the same right thing. So again, if there's another way that you want to try and tackle this drawing, you're more than welcome to. Um, this one can be a little meticulous with just the amount of 
uh, clicking that you have to do. And again, we're just flip-flopping every time. Again, we're doing horizontal, vertical, horizontal, vertical. Okay, just a couple more, and then we'll uh, this, we'll wrap this video up. So again, we did vertical here. Let's do horizontal. All right, we got one last row. So horizontal here, we need to cut vertical. Last one right here. There we go. We now have our kind of uh, crisscross pattern all the way here. That is how we draw numbers five and six. So thanks for tuning in.